Hey everybody, this is Rich for PC Mechanic, and I'm going to show you a couple of cool things you can do in Windows. Uh, watch this. I can right-click anywhere in the title bar area, that's this area at the top of any window, and I can go to Resize Position, and I can make this 640 by 40, 800, 1024, 1152 by 864. Is this a feature in Windows? No. You actually have to go and download this, and I'll show you how to get it. What you can do is go to Google first and then just type in Sizer, S-I-Z-E-R, Google search. It's the first search result, freeware utility that allows you to resize any window. We go to Sizer, and here it is, Sizer 3.3. It puts a nice little icon in the uh, bottom of the taskbar next to the clock, and I'll show you that if I go down here, and there it is, and I right-click this, and I can configure it, and then if I go up into it, these are my selections. I can make custom uh, descriptions, widths, heights. Uh, I can have it move it if I want to. I can have it snap to pixel. Uh, and there's some couple other options. This is a nice light free application. It's cool. I use it. And so if you, uh, particularly if you have a large uh, screen resolution and you want to make windows say just 1024 or whatever, this works on more or less any application that's open and that's cool. Okay, the second thing I'm going to show you is uh, some basic Firefox maneuvers here. Now, I notice that most people do not use the bookmarks toolbar. That's at view toolbars and then bookmarks toolbar. This is in the Firefox browser latest version, which is 2.0.0.5. Now, this is cool because you can get all the shortcuts you go to most often right in to this bookmarks bar right at the top. And you says, well, I don't want all these going across the top. Can I group them? Yeah. If you right-click any one of them, you can go just go to New Folder. And then what I'll do is type in the name of the folder. And I'll just call it My Bookmarks. And see up here? It made a folder. I can drag these in here. Look at this. I'm going to drag them all in here. Drag, 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 drag. And then click it. And look at that, they're all nice and neat. And I can make more folders if I want to. I'll call it More Bookmarks. And now we have more bookmarks. It's currently empty. How do I get something to go into this uh, toolbar here? It's so easy, it's not even funny. Let's just say I go to, actually, I won't go to Google, I'll go to PC Mech. Because we all should bookmark PCMech.com after all. And I just see this icon here. My icon turns into a hand. I drag drop. Then it's right into the bar here. And if I want to put it into a folder, drag, drop. And look at that. It's right in there. That is awesome, isn't it? I certainly think it is. So I'm going to, if I right click it, I can just go to delete. And then what I can do is if you have this open, you can drag them back. I'm going to drag back, drag back, drag back. Uh, I can put them in front. I can put them behind. I can do whatever I want with them. Just put them all back here, and there we go. And then once it's empty, I can right click and I can delete this folder. Now another thing is, for those of us that use multiple computers, I might have covered this before in another video, and if I did, this is going to be a repeat, but it's okay because it bears repeating, is uh, Fox Marks. Now uh, if I go to Tools and then Add-ons, one of mine is uh, the first one listed as the Foxmarks Bookmark Synchronizer. And you can get this at foxmarks.com. There it is. And this is the Bookmark Synchronizer. And you can download it. It's for Firefox. It runs in Windows. It runs in OS X. It runs in Linux. It's a great piece of software. So what happens is that in the Bookmarks, you'll have a actual Foxmarks thing. If I click on Foxmarks, it'll bring up a username and a password that you, know, you decide, and then you can just hit Synchronize. It'll download the sync file, write the sync file, and you're done. And then, if you go to another computer with Firefox installed, and you install Foxmarks, and then you can download all your bookmarks, they'll look exactly the same, in the same order that you put them in, as you did on the other computer. So if you have a laptop and you have a desktop, this is fantastic to use. You can organize all your bookmarks like that. 
And uh, the last application I'm going to show here, this is uh, something I've been purporting for years. Uh, well, maybe not years, but for a good time is uh, Launchy. Now you see this here? This I got to launch by pressing Alt Space on my keyboard, and it looks beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful looking application. And let's just say, uh, let me close this. You do that by hitting Escape. Let me just close Firefox first. There we go. I'll launch Launchy. And let's just say I want to launch Firefox F. And then it shows Mozilla Firefox. It shows all the stuff that begins with letter F, where you just type the word fire, and it will go find Firefox. And I press Enter. And then it launches the Firefox web browser. That is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's try it with another browser. We can uh, do Internet Explorer. So I N T. I just put I N T E, and it, Internet Explorer. And I press Enter, and boom, Internet Explorer has now come up. And I'll resize that with the application I showed you earlier to 800 by 600. And here we go. We've got our Internet Explorer browser. And uh, let's say I, say I want the uh, calculator. I just type calc. It'll go right to the calculator. But in Launcher, you actually don't have to do that. You can actually just go 2 plus 3 plus 10 times 27. And it will uh, actually, oops, I'm sorry. It gets, <laughs> went a little fast there. And it gives you to the result right here. So I type in the little math equation there. and. Uh, it shows it over there. And the cool thing about Launchy is if you right click it, you get there's different skins for it. You can uh, go to the advanced options and you can use it in a portable mode on USB stick. And there's a couple other updates there. You can also go to the directories. Now, by default, it will index everything in your start menu and in the all users menu, anything with a link. But if you want to uh, get other directories in there, it's easy. All you have to do is just add directories. You can add file types. You can launch MP3s. You can launch AVIs. You can do whatever you want. This is cool. La doing things by the command line is the absolute fastest way to launch applications. I mean, even if I want to see what's on my hard drive, I just go E-X-P-L-O-R-E-R. -E and it does Internet Explorer by default. But if I wait a second, it gives me the Windows Explorer. So I go ahead and hit that. And I'll go ahead and hit Enter. And it launches the Windows Explorer. And there is my hard drive. And I can view files on it and everything. And now if I want to go back to Firefox, I just launch that. Oh, and another cool thing about Launchy is that if you go to an application uh, long enough, and even if you type it incorrectly, let's just say you're not that good of a speller. Let's just say uh, you, you type it wrong all the time. That's okay, because Launchy is going to remember it anyway. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, those are a few utilities. I'll be linking this uh, next to the video at uh, PCMech.com. Here's our latest video section here. It should be making its way here shortly after I post this. So go ahead and go to PCMech.com and check it out. And take it easy, everyone. Oh, <laughs>